Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. Figures my neighbor's cutting his grass, so uh, audio may not be too great. But today I'm going to install the carpet inside of Lumpy, our 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe. And I kind of cheated and already know how to take out the back seat. I do not entirely know how to take out the front seats, but I've done a little bit of research. So we'll take it one step at a time and I hope you learned something along the way. So let's get started. Push back and lift up at the same time and it will come unsnapped and then you pull it straight forward and then you can pull it out so right here is one side of the snaps and there's a little bar that snaps down so you just unsnap and it comes right out and then you can see under here on the back part you have a bolt and another one on the other side and you take the bolts out and that's it you're done All right, so on the back, down here is our screw hole, and up here is a little spot for another bar, and it just hangs. Now, previous owner put in some sheet metal, but uh, we're gonna leave that be, get it cleaned up, and start with carpet. All right, so there should be a screw here, and in theory, one down low. But I found previous owner didn't do that, so you just kind of wiggle and shimmy and lift. And it's out. Here's where your scuff plate sits. Before you go closing the door, make sure any wires running in that track are not sitting proud. So make sure they're in the track before you close the door. Otherwise, you'll pinch a, pinch a wire. All right, this is the rear carpet with the middle of the car at the top. And the reason I know that is when you look, you can see the indentation patterns for where the rear passenger seat feet go. And at the bottom of this hunk of carpet, it's a really small piece, whereas at the top, it's much larger piece because that's where it's gotta go further up front, whereas this goes tucked under the seat. So uh, let's see how we can get this in there. And just like that, I need to take the front seats out. It won't fit any other way, so, uh, Guess I get to work on that now. Alright, so I got the driver's side seat out, the front seat, driver's seat, and it was way too easy because there were only two nuts on the four seat bolts. Definitely not safe, but we, uh, we figured some things out. So first of all, The front seat belts use a 13 16 bolt, so you'll, or sorry, a 13 16 socket <clears throat> on both sides. And like I said, the driver's side seat came out way too easy. There was one bolt, another bolt, and that was it. Um, but I marked those off. You need a deep socket to get those out and reach up underneath the undercarriage 
So here's one spot and two spots, three and four over there, and you need a deep socket, half inch, and maybe some extensions. And if you're like me, working on a gravel driveway, a little bit of 409 will kill the ants. All right, so I've already done the driver's side seatbelt bolt. This is a passenger side. And I started with an awl and then a razor blade. And with one hand under the carpet, one over top, I found the hole. And then with the razor blade, I was able to punch through the padding on the back side. The problem is it takes a little bit of muscle to get it in there. So, the back side, it's really hard to get through that padding, and while using a razor blade helps, You're still kind of fumbling around in the dark. All right, so the front, or sorry, the outside bolts are a little bit easier. Is that right? Right at the edge. And I now see why people use a soldering iron because it actually burns a hole which is big enough for your bolt. Makes things a little bit easier on the underside, that's for sure. Anyway. These are much easier to find. They're just right up on the edge. Four seatbelts in. All right, I did not expect this to be a one day job, but it is absolutely not a one day job unless you have help or you're professional and have done this before. I have neither of those, so we're gonna need to continue at least two days, maybe three, we'll see how it goes. Um, 
couple of issues I've come up against. Uh, one, well, let me show you. So number one, those back trim panels, I need to use some sort of adhesive to get that vinyl trim to stick to the back so they don't come unfurled. And then I can get those installed and then I can do the um, back seat top part and then the back seat bottom part and of course uh, get the seat belts in in the back. And the other issue I have is I really don't know how to handle the console other than I really want it in. I did get the front piece of carpet in, as you can see, and I cut the hole for the shifter, which um, normally you wouldn't cut it so big, but I knew there was going to be a console, so I didn't worry about it too much. Yeah, I see, Mr. Mosquito. You're going to die soon. So, anyway. Um... The front piece doesn't quite seem to be laying the way I want it to, the way I think it should. So I need to figure that out, and I also need to figure out where to line up that uh, finished edge on the front piece. Does it go just straight up? Does it... I I don't know. I, I need to figure that out. I Because there's two four posts for each seat and I need to know if those just go through this back section of carpet or the front section too uh, I I don't know I need to go do some research good news is I got all my seat belts in up front and I need to clean up and get ready for the next project so uh, stay tuned we'll see how it looks